Hey Marvelites, I'm Lorraine Sink, and on a very special episode of The Watcher this week, we're going behind the bright Broadway lights of Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. We're going to talk with the cast, we're going to take a tour backstage, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek at this high-flying musical adventure. Come on, you guys. Marvelites, I am here in the dressing room of Jason Gote, who's playing Spider-Man and Peter Parker today. Hey, Lorraine, thanks. Thanks for coming. So today, you're going to take us on a tour backstage of Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. Yes, indeed. This is VIP treatment you're getting today. And everyone right now is getting a special, exclusive look at your dressing room. This is it. Can you show us some of your costumes? Yeah, so this is my uh, Spidey suit. This looks really small. That's because it is. <laughs> <laughs> What was it like the first time you put on the Spider-Man suit? You feel like a superhero when you put it on. It's kind of like everything you wanted to feel like. like. Yeah, I got this. Here we go. I mean, it was really exciting. Spidey sense is tingling. <laughs> That's right. I felt it all of it. I felt all of it. Awesome. Well, let's take a look at the set. Come on. Here, see all of our villain costumes. This is the Green Goblin himself. You have Kraven, the hunter. And this is a Swarm's costume. Swarm is a, is a human made of bees. So a lot of cool stuff happens back here. This is the boxing ring. Uh, when Peter Parker first gets his, uh, his spidey senses and he decides he's gonna try to defeat Bonesaw McGraw. This is Dr. Osborne's lab. This is where Dr. Osborne heads in and he becomes a Green Goblin after an experiment's gone horribly wrong. We're heading right now into our hair and makeup room. Insane amount of wigs in this show. You can check out them touching up this incredible Green Goblin piece, which requires some insane maintenance. So we're gonna head over to see Robert Cuccioli, who plays Norman Osborn and the Green Goblin. Hey guys, we're here with Robert Cuccioli, who plays Green Goblin as well as Norman Osborn. Yeah? We just went and took a look at your prosthetics. Oh yeah, it's extensive. <laughs> that's, that's a ton of makeup, right? What, what is that work. transformation like for you? Uh, well, I have a uh, I have a team of uh, two makeup artists, mm -hmm. and uh, I also have uh, my sound man and uh, my dresser and another helper uh, to get me into all that gear, and that all takes uh, the full amount of intermission. And now playing Norman Osborn, such an iconic character, what was your process like working on that character? All my research is over here to uh, you know have your research be comic books. Playing a villain can be so hard in some ways because people don't always understand the, where the villain's coming from. Did you have something that kind of keyed you in and made you understand that character? I approach villains, bad guys, yeah, so to speak, in a way that they don't they don't consider what they're doing as wrong. Right. You know, they they feel uh, like Norman for one person uh, is Norman Osborn is trying to do good for mankind. Can't wait to watch you out there on the stage. Thanks for, for coming into my home, my little lair. So I'm here with Rebecca Falconberry, who plays Mary Jane Watson. What's your favorite thing about playing Mary Jane? She's such an iconic character. She's great because she's not wimpy or passive or the waif in any way. This is kind of, this sits next to me while I do my makeup and my hair for the show, kind of infiltrate in. I put her in the forefront. What is your favorite part of the show? Is there a song or a scene that you yes. particularly love? Fire escape scene, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> because we're hanging up there, there's nowhere you can go. You just sit there and you have to tell the story. And the simplicity of that I really like. And the song's beautiful. Good job, you too. <laughs> Can't wait to watch the show Thank today. You, for uh, you have to go get ready because you have to do a show, and we need to go get in some seats and check it out. Yeah, you guys are going to have a blast. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We had such a fantastic time checking out Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. Hurry to see the show now before it closes in New York in January and moves to Las Vegas. And I'll see you guys next time, True Believers. I'm Lorraine Sink for Marvel, your universe.
your universe.